Hey guys, how's it going? Um, back again for another video, and um, I'm waiting for the uh, Bethesda conference for E3 2016. Um, I hope they release some pretty good stuff, and um, hopefully some uh, DLC for Fallout 4. Um, maybe something for Elder Scrolls. Um, so yeah, I'm, I'm pretty excited for that. Uh, I hope it's uh, it's worth the wait. And um, in the meantime, I wanted to talk about uh, what I think about um, the Fallout games that I've uh, played so far. Um, of course, I've played Fallout 4. Um, I've played uh, Fallout New Vegas, and I've played uh, Fallout 3. So, um, off the bat, I just want to say that uh, Fallout 3 is the best Fallout game, uh, period. Um, there's just, there's no comparing it to anything else. Fallout 3 was just amazing. It had a great story. Um, the weapon uh, degradation system, which uh, I wish they would have brought it back to Fallout 4, but... Um, the fact that you, you know, it introduced bats to us for the first time. You can shoot weapons out of enemies' hands, and they're just standing there going like, oh, where'd my weapon go? And, you know, by the time they run up to, to hit you, you know, you're shooting them, and it gave you a great advantage. Um, it follows your character pretty much from the, the day you're born, you know, onwards, and it, it gave... You know, for me, it, it was the perfect way to start the game. It, it gave you that that sense of, you know, this is who I am. You know, I you know you follow your character uh, from birth into you know all the adventures the um, Capital Wasteland brought, and I thought it was just it was just epic. It was just great. Um, the story, yeah. Uh, the role-playing aspect of it, you know, this this universe and lore that you're being, you know, introduced to, and a lot of people it was for the first time because uh, not not a lot uh, had played Fallout One and Fallout Two, myself included, and um, you know, Fallout Three basically made Bethesda uh, a known brand. Um, it's it's pretty crazy because at that point, um, uh, when Fallout 3 was released, um, people really didn't. Well, most casual people didn't care about uh, the developers. You know, they just cared about the game. And uh, this game was so revolutionary that people actually cared on who the developer was, and was like, oh no, this is Bethesda Studios. They made this game, and it was just uh, it was just a great a great game it um i think everything was uh was well done and it um it implemented a lot of things that uh that a lot of games uh began to to mimic nowadays and um yeah i mean fallout 3 will will always be my my favorite fallout game um even down to the dlc the dlc was great um it might have been handled a bit better um performance issues and glitches but um, aside from those things it was just great um, I really liked all the DLC uh, minus uh, Point Lookout I wasn't a huge fan of Point Lookout I thought it was a little off I think the main story in um, Point Lookout was just a bit dull uh, you know um, with uh, Desmond and how that uh, turned out and ended I didn't quite enjoy myself with that but um I mean everything else, um, the pit, uh, um, the alien DLC, uh, I liked, uh, Broken Steel was, was definitely amazing, it, um, it fixed, uh, pretty much the only issue with the game, which is, uh, that the, the, the main character, uh, died, and, um, the game sort of ended there, so, um, uh, when people were complaining about that, Bethesda fixed it with that DLC, and um, I thought it was it was great on their part that they were listening, and um, they fixed uh, the only wrong that was in their game. Uh, so if I had to give uh, Fallout 3 a uh, 
a rating it would be a, a 10 out of 10 um, of course the uh, you know the glitches were there I, I encountered them there were you know some things that were that were off but um, I mean if you play the game on PC you can get around those things and uh, it, it was trying to do something that no other game had had done before and I, I think it accomplished it and it made um, it made Bethesda uh, a household name and that's what uh, that's what I think uh, really put Bethesda on the map um, so for for me Fallout 3 is definitely a 10 out of 10 I spent a ton of ta uh, time playing it and uh, yeah it's 10 out of 10 it's a it is the, uh, the perfect game in, in my opinion and um, and if it was uh, optimized a bit better, it would. It's just. It's great. Um, so uh, now I want to talk about um, Fallout New Vegas. And Fallout New Vegas uh, was a huge uh, letdown for me. Um, it was made by uh, Obsidian Studios, and um, I gotta say, I am not a huge fan. I uh, it, and it. Um, it pains me to say this because. Well, New Vegas had such potential. I mean, it was there. The, the, the theme, the, the atmosphere, um, the conflict with the NCR and, and Caesar's Legion. It was just, it was great. But um, there was just no character development. The characters were just bland. Um, they tried to do something with the companions and, and give them these like m missions that improve them and. I just felt it, it fell short. I mean, the only really, the only real companion that was notable was uh, Boone, the NCR uh, sniper. And even then, he was just so bland. Um, he had an interesting backstory, but uh, everything was just bland. Um, the the DLC, I I, I didn't care for. Um, I actually stopped playing at a at a old world blues. I didn't even finish that DLC. Um, I just was not interested in it at all. Um, the dialogue in there was just I, I, you were you were talking to these to these characters for for over two hours. I was like, oh my god, like like what the hell? Like let's get let's get on with it. I want to play the game. I don't want to listen to this thing talk to me for two over two hours. Jesus, and that—that's how it went for for most of the of the characters in the game. The, the, they would just spew this dialogue of nonsense, and it was—it was just information that was not important, you know. Uh, if you're playing a game, you want to you want to play the game, you want to get to the point, you want to enjoy yourself. And I, I just—it was very difficult for me to speak to anyone in that game and and really be engaged. Um, the way they started the story was just a bit lackluster too. Um, that you're a courier, uh, you're pretty much an overglorified mailman. I mean, I have nothing against mailmen, but like seriously, that's the best you can come up with. Um, and then when you finally meet um, Caesar, he's just a, a letdown as far as uh, the character. Um, he was just, just he was just uninteresting. Um, the NCR had that that persona of of military and diplomacy, so they were they were interesting. Um, of course, the NCR Rangers they they were my favorite. I think they're everybody's favorite. The, the armor was was uh, awesome looking, and uh, but overall the game was a bit of a disappointment. Um, some of the quests were just nonsense and, and absolutely ridiculous um, so if I had to uh, so in my opinion the game is, is about a 7 out of 10 rating um, 7 out of 10 um, now I want to talk about uh, Fallout 4 um, it's the game that uh, at the moment has uh, it's the only gameplay I have on my channel and um, and Fallout 4 uh, gave up a lot of things that made Fallout 3 really great, um, especially with the, the weapon degradation system. I really missed that, you know, having the ability to shoot people's weapons out of their hands. Um, um, 
the settlement system, I wish it would have uh, culminated to being something bigger than what it was. And um, the factions could have been uh, a bit stronger. Uh, but overall, the game is uh, its fun. It has good graphics. The gameplay is fun. I enjoy myself. Um, I'm pretty sure I'm going to make another, another video going into more detail about the, the factions. Uh, of uh, Fallout 4, so um, if I have to give Fallout 4 a rating, it would be a uh, um, uh, I'm torn between an eight or a nine. I'm gonna leave more towards a nine. But um, yeah, guys, uh, I hope you enjoyed the video. Please uh, comment and subscribe, and um, and I'll see you in the next one. Take care.